Real quick before we get into this awesome video guys, I'm going to be giving away two gold passes to celebrate the channel hitting 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again so much for hitting that goal. Pause the video now if you guys want to see the details of the giveaway. But in short, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram at LucaBraxy. Comment on this picture, the only picture I have, and then like the picture. And you're entered to win the giveaway. The winners will be announced next video, which will be on March 1st. Good luck, everyone, and let's get into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another daily Clash of Clans video. Something special in this video, guys. It's the first ever YouTube community clan war I'm going to be posting on the channel. We're currently on a 10 winning streak, looking to make it 11. Let's jump right into it. So the war just started, guys. Here it is. This is the community clan for you guys that don't know. Basically, community clan means it's me and a bunch of the YouTube boys in a clan, the Luca Braxy clan. Here's the clan tag if you guys want to copy it. Join the clan. Requirements right now are 2,000 trophies and tunnel 7. Pretty much just be good at war and then you could be in war. Here is the war log. We're currently in Masters League 2 CWL. Haven't done CWL in a while because we need 13 or 15 tunnel 13s for CWL. But we're spamming regular wars 24-7. We're on a 10 win streak at the moment. Warlog is starting to look good. We're 78 and 29 overall. Not the best, but the recent streak is looking great. 10 in a row, like I said, and we're looking to make it 11 in this war. The rest of this video, guys, is going to be live attacks from me and the rest of the boys in the clan looking to get another perfect war. Let's jump right into the live attacks now. We got our first attack of the war, guys. It looks like a Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9, and the Frost has already crushed enemy base. Let's go, Frost. Looking pretty good here. It's going with the uh, E-Drag Lightning, one of my favorite Town Hall 9 army comps. I'm going to be showing my attacks and some of the clanmates' attacks, of course, because you guys in the clan are from the YouTube community in the comments, watching the videos, so I got to show you guys some love, show you guys attacks. Frost with the first attack of the video, looking like an easy three-star. Let's go, Frost. Obviously, not the hardest base, but you know... We get what we take. He's number 16 in the clan. Leo's number 16 in the enemy clan. This is a 20 versus 20 war. Great way to start off the war frost with the three star. Good stuff, man. And that should be 3 0 to us. GG frost. Great way to start the war. And the next attack I'm going to show you guys will be my attack. Let's start it off with the Town Hall 13 attack. All right, I'm going in next with the Town Hall 13 attack, like I said. Let's look at the number three base, see what it looks like. Oh, easy triple here. Just going to be using my Legend Lake Army comp. It's pretty much just an E-Drag spam. Easy Town Hall 13 attack here. If you guys are new to Town Hall 13, try this one out. I'm using it only because I don't have much time to play, so it's a really easy Army comp just to spam down and go with because i do three accounts in legends league so having 24 legend league attacks makes it really hard to do 24 hybrid attacks anyways oops i just misclicked a freeze spell let's uh freeze this queen town hall freeze that multi and the eagle drop a baby dragon over here keep dropping these free spells on the core because we really want to keep that queen down i think i just misclicked another free spell Looks like my uh, game is going wild here, but it should still get us a three star. I don't know, actually. We still have a world champion. We still have like six E drags. I need to get that scatter shot down ASAP. World champion ability gets popped. All right, scatter shot goes down. That should be a three star, guys. It's looking good for the for the Luca Braxy clan. We got three spectators in this one. They all get to see this massive triple. Let's go, guys. Great way to start off the war. That should be 6-0, I think. Let's go. Oh, some Seeking Air Mines come in. Shouldn't stop us, though. Anything on the corners? Nope. Four spectators. Five spectators. Oh, my God. All the boys are online today. All of them got to see that. Easy triple. Let's go. Like I said, good way to start off the war. It should be 6-0 now. We're going to make this 60-0. Uh, Zero, not zero, but 60, hopefully, get a perfect war here. Oh, I haven't showed you guys the enemy clan's war log. Check it out. This clan's pretty good. What are they called again? It's Pard War. Probably saying that wrong, but they're on a seven-win streak of their own right now. Pretty decent clan. They got some perfect wars in here, some 95 percentages, 98. So hopefully they don't perfect war us because that's going to end our streak. I don't think they will, though. We got some good Town Hall 13 bases, but it's a seven streak going against the 10 streak so it's a good match up here let's get right to the next attack now up next we got a town hall 10 attack here it's a ring base and i got the perfect army for this base we got the lightning dragon with four valks in the clan castle 
and of course a rage for them Valks. They're going to run through this course so quick. You guys will find out in a second here. So we'll go four lightnings there, four lightnings here, and watch how quick these Valks are going to run through the core of the space. It's going to be absolutely insane. All right, so dragons are in. I'm going to let them do some work first, and then we're going to drop all our Valks in the core. Let's wait for the queens to get in the core, and then we're going to drop our blimp. All right, it's looking good so far. We're going to freeze this. Uh, sweeper even though I freezed it late. That's not good. Come on get there. It does perfect Okay, watch these Valks. They're gonna melt these troops enemy defensive ice columns not the best, but it's all right Valks are still alive going through the core of the base. Oh my goodness Down goes the town hall down goes Tesla down goes an expo Is it gonna take out that single inferno too? It is. Oh my gosh guys Those Valks just ran through the core of the base there that's why I use Valks on ring bases like this. When it's not a bunch of different compartments, Valks are the best for the blimp. Usually I would do an E-drag if there's different compartments because it could just fly to the next one. doesn't have to get distracted on walls. But as you can see, if it's one big circle in the core, Valks take out the entire core of the base with like the help of one dragon and a rage spell and a free spell. But yeah, guys, let's go. That'll be an easy three-star tunnel, 10 versus 10. Easy easy triple i think we're up like 14-0 in the war right now we're absolutely crushing it all the boys in the clan are doing great so far i got a 99 percent on a town hall 11 attack a few minutes ago because i freaking found a town hall 7 on my town hall 7 push as i was finding a town hall 11 in war so i ended up failing that attack that was pretty funny here it is 99 percent up there but we're up 14-0 right now who else has attacked uh, Brady got a triple frost got a triple good stuff guys. We got another live attack in here King dragon is going in 19 verse 19 Good luck King dragon looks like an easy three-star right here air defense is on the edge Easy triple for him. Let's go guys. We're crushing it, it should be 17 0 soon another town all 13 attack coming up guys And let's look at these town all 13 bases Should we go for one or two? Hmm Interesting base here. I've never seen this one. Looks like a custom base. I think we could three-star this one pretty easily. Let's go for it here. Got the same E-Jag army comp, E-Jag loons with our heroes on the edges to create the funnel. Then we'll drop our E-Jags. Let's drop a few coconut loons just in case this base is trapped up. It's not. Okay, that means it's time for the E-Jags. All right, E-Jags are going in. I need to get early warden ability on this base. That's key on these E-Drag attacks, early warden ability. I used to not know about that until like recently, but now I know, and it is key in three-starring, guys. I'm gonna freeze that town hall, freeze this sweeper, freeze that sweeper over here. All right, it looks like we're crushing the base so far. I just need to make sure my world champion takes out these guys over here. Real champion's gonna go down, looks like. It's all good. Scatter shot goes down. Perfect. Alright, now I need to freeze the core. A little late there, but better late than never, right? Hopefully. I got two more free spells. We're gonna use them both on that single and air defense and eagle. I kind of needed my E drags to funnel here. They're not gonna. Eagle's probably gonna stay alive. Single will go down. Okay, I think we got this one guys. It'll be close here. We'll have to see Eagle survives if like 100 200 health, but there's only one archer tower left to defend Looks like we got it. Yeah, unless a seeking air mine comes which is really possible Archer tower. Oh archer tower doesn't go down. Oh, no Warden clutch. Let's go. Okay four more buildings Warden take out the eagle and we got this Boom, let's go guys Let's go. Four spectators. Got to see that triple. Feels good, man. Number two versus number two. Three starred. We're going pretty much perfect this war besides that one attack where I forgot to use my uh, free spells. But we won't count that one. We have to get this one gold mine sitting here on the other side of the base. Hopefully Seeking Air Mines don't come out. Imagine if we fail to Seeking Air Mines right here. Nope, we got the three star guys. Warden will auto that gold mine three times and get us the triple. Let's go guys. I think that's a 20-0 start in war. Hey, let's go. Looking good. I already took out two of their three town all 13s. I have four town all 13s in my clan. Three of mine and then Neff, of course, Avin Jr. 
on the YouTube. So it's looking good so far guys. Perfect war is looking likely if we could take out this number one base. And I don't know, it looks like a decently upgraded base. Pretty much max besides walls. We'll have to see later on in the video. All right guys, I just got off work about like eight hours later or something. So we're down 44 to 47 at this point. Our clan looks like we have three starred everyone besides 15, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 1. Enemy clan three starred everyone besides 15, 16. And then they failed on their tunnel 13 attacks on 1, 2, 3, and 4. Looks like they're not very good tunnel 13 attackers, which is perfect because, of course, I already two starred there or three starred there, two and three. So it's looking good for this war. We just have to finish it out by taking out the rest of these bases. I'm going to be doing a tunnel 11 attack next to redeem my earlier town hall 11 fail which i didn't show you guys because it was embarrassing because i was recording another clip for another video anyways let's redeem that attack and let's three star this base boys let's get it super easy base to take out here so i'm expecting nothing less than a three star let's use all our troops here heroes everything's down uh, i want my warden ability to cover that wall wrecker perfect Let's drop a freeze here. We're going to freeze that single inferno to keep our wall wrecker from getting toasted. Attack's looking really good so far. We'll drop another rage spell in the core here in a second. I needed that single inferno to go down. It doesn't. It's not a huge deal here. Bull Bullers are popping out. Rage spell down. They're going to be bouncing through the core of this base. We might be able to three star it, honestly, without even using clan castle troops or uh, bat spells, I mean. But we're going to use them anyways just to overkill this base. So we're going to drop one, two, three, four. I could save my um, save my two clan castle. Oh, I forgot there's two wizard towers. I'm blind. Oh, never mind. Uh, this is awkward. I was trying to save my troops by not using these two extra bat spells. But it kind of was awkward because I didn't see the second wizard tower. It's all good though. We'll save those two bat spells anyways, and we'll still get a three star, guys. So, good attack there overall. Two buildings left. A very nice triple. All three heroes survive. One of my favorite town all 11 attacks. Let's go, guys. Good stuff here. Get that triple, and that makes the war 47 to 47. Tied war. Yeah, it's getting pretty close, guys. But in the next, like, 10 minutes or so, we're going to pull ahead and take the lead. Town all 10 attack up next. We got this. What is this army comp? Um, I don't know why I have a wall, a log launcher, but we do. So, um, what is going on here? Actually, I think I know what I'm doing. One, two, and then three, and then one, two, three over here. Should have taken down that queen. Didn't notice she was there. I'm going to put our king queen on this side to funnel. Log launcher right in the core there, and then some dragons over here. This army comp should destroy the base. I meant to have a stone slammer or a blimp, I think, but it's all good. Log launcher will do a good job, I think, maybe. Doesn't get much value. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, it made the town hall half health? What the heck? That's kind of OP, low-key, guys. I didn't even think of that. Pretty soon, though, we'll use our rage spells. Two down. Valks are going to the outside. Oh, two go back into the core. Nice. We have another free spell for this single inferno here. Might have to use that pretty soon. Actually, looks like our dragons are going to die over there. Are we going to three star this base? I would have dropped the freeze there, but it's not going to do anything. Um, Wait a second. Wait a second. That dragon, I wasn't going to save it because... Oh, I have four balloons. Clutch! Oh my goodness, these balloons are going to be clutch, boys. These four balloons are going to be able to take out that single inferno and win us this. Three star, hopefully. Valkyries are still going around the base. Only one archer tower left. Oh, let's freeze it quick. Save that balloon, or save that dragon. Alright, there we go. Four balloons come in clutch. Take out that air defense, or single inferno. And that'll get us the three star. One archer tower left. It can't take out those four balloons in time. Very nice, guys. Very nice. That was closer than it was supposed to be. That was a decently set up 10 all 10. I was also not supposed to have um, a wall wrecker. A blimp or a stone slammer would have done much better in that attack. Obviously. But um, pretty solid, though. We'll take it. Another 3 star that puts us up 50, right? 
Yep, 50 to 47. Let's keep on going. Up next here, we're going to do a quick dip. Uh, my Town Hall 12 or my Town Hall 13 versus this Town Hall 12. The reason I'm not hitting this Town Hall 12 with my Town Hall 12 is because two of my heroes are upgrading on my Town Hall 12. So I wouldn't three star this base without the Queen and the Warden. So that's why we're dipping, making it an easy triple. One of the main things you guys should all be doing in war, if you're not already, is dip attacks. Make regular wars super easy to win. Without dipping in regular wars, you're just you're just doing yourself a dishonor, I'll call it. Just because it makes it so much easier to win, honestly. You gotta play the game to win, guys, right? Don't play the game to hit the same enemy town hall all the time. Sometimes you gotta take advantage of these of these dips. Town Hall 13 versus Town Hall 12 is really easy to triple. If you don't triple 13 versus 12, you're uh, very bad, let's say. Mostly because I have maxed heroes. Like it's it's different if you got rushed heroes. But then again, I got 25, 50, 75, 75 heroes, so we could swag a spell or two and still triple. Pretty much with these, I'd say. Good stuff, though, guys. Good stuff here. We're gonna get another three trophies from this base, I think. So 53. And then the max stars we could get in this war is 60 because it's a 20 versus 20 war. Let's go, guys. A few more attacks here and we're going to get the perfect war. I, we might not get the perfect war. Let's see what it looks like real quick. The war map. So I need to three star number one. Okay, that's going to be important. Nev hit the number one base. Got an 89%. That's pretty solid. We'll have to watch that replay later to scout. Need to take two town all 11s out and two town all 9s out still. Okay, we'll be back soon. Up next, we got a little bit of a weird Town Hall 12 army comp here. Um, it may or may not be a donation army, but we're just going to full send it because, you know, oh, why not, guys? I'm too lazy to train up a regular army on my Town Hall 12. That may or may not be the real reason I didn't go Town Hall 12 versus 12 before. Either because uh, my heroes are upgrading or I'm too lazy, you know? Either way, same result. Let's, uh drop our troops here i wonder if we're even gonna triple because might be hard might be a little challenging with this donation army here let's pop a warden i got three four rage spells three free spells such a funny army comp here a bat spell might as well use that huh another freeze for the core let's rage over there are we gonna triple guys i can't tell um this is hilarious. I think we got it, yeah? Let's freeze that single. Boys, that's how you three star in war. Use this exact army comp. It was like 15 barbs, some archers, a P.E.K.K.A., some yetis, valks, donation for yeti, blimp, you know how it is. And then, uh, yeah, you'll be tripling like it's cake, guys. This is definitely a great town hall 12 versus town hall 11 army comp. Highly recommend it. Don't listen to me. Don't use this army, please, ever. Your clan mates will kick you from the clan if you use this army. Especially if you fail. If you three star, they might not care. Like, my clan mates probably won't care since I'm three starring. But there we go, guys. Town Hall 12 versus 11. Obviously, super easy there. We're up to, um, what is that? 56? Hey, let's go, guys. Only four more stars for the perfect war. Up next, we're dipping Town Hall 13 to Town Hall 11. I'm going to try to save my uh, clan castle troops for this attack because we definitely don't need them. So let's go here. We could use our heroes since we don't really care about them. They'll just regenerate. But clan castle troops will not regenerate. I need to donate those. So we're going to try to save those here. And uh, yeah, let's go pop all our hero abilities, rage spells, save the world champion because, you know, why not? I don't know. Freeze the core. Should definitely be a triple. I don't know if we need our blimp, but we'll find out soon. Still have a ton of E-drags left. Our queen, king, warden. All the boys are still alive and girls. <laughs> so yeah, should be an easy one here. Let's keep dropping rage spells because why not? Make the attack a little easier. Mm -mm -mm. Rage, rage, freeze, 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 freeze. Alright, world champion's gonna die to that cannon, probably. It's all good. King should be able to take out the rest of this base, along with those E-drags. King will not die, honestly. King is so strong at level 75, it does not take damage from these, like, 
puny level 15 cannons. Watch this damage the king's going to take in a second here. Is it, is it even moving? Oh, I see it moving a tiny bit. It's barely anything. That doesn't scratch the king. There we go, though, guys. Another three star. And I think that leaves how many bases left? Three bases left. A town hall 13 and two town hall nines, I think. Let's go check it out. Town hall 13, number one. And then, yep, two town hall nines left. Another town hall nine attack, guys. A lightning dragon coming up next. And uh, looking at this base here, should be a three star. Yeah, I don't know. Find out soon, boys. Drop the e drag over here. Dragon to help it funnel. King queen to help funnel over here. E drag should get some chain value, I hope. Let's drop some dragons around the base here. Take out those last two air defenses. E drag, get me some chain. Boom, nice chain value there. Oh no, pulls a seeking air mine. Bad timing. Let's freeze that one. And let's freeze this air defense over here for a second freeze. That should be a three star, right guys? E drag is coming out now out of the CC. Seeking air mines are hitting my troops. Pop the Barb King ability. Expo should go down, I think. Alright, gotta take out this enemy E drag next. Oh, good stuff. King distracting it for some damage. Perfect. Okay, all I need to take out is that Expo. Some Teslas and Archer Tower. Should be a triple, right guys? We could only hope from now on, I guess. You know, we can only hope. We could only hope and watch. Two spectators. What's up, boys? How's it going? Hope you guys enjoy my uh, dragon spam attack. Very skillful. Yes, I know. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Expo. Shoot. Looks like it's going to take out that dragon. Yeah. Still have four dragons, five dragons, six dragons alive. Easy triple here, looks like, guys. Good stuff, good stuff. I think that makes it two bases left after this one goes down. Pretty good, boys. Pretty good. We might be getting this perfect war here. Give me that star. There it is. Yep, two stars left. Almost forgot that I have a second Town Hall 11 in war. I might as well use its attacks. It's a pretty rushed Town Hall 11, but might as well use its attacks to dip onto this puny little Town Hall 9. Or at least I'm going to make it a puny Town Hall 9 after this attack. Watch how much value this uh, blimp's about to get. It's about to take out like the whole core of the base probably pop the warden ability pop the rage freeze pop the blimp freeze freeze we're gonna freeze all around it rage freeze freeze take out the entire center of the base for me e dragon another freeze yeah this base is uh crushed obviously town 11 versus town 9 should be crushed if you don't crush 11 versus 9 you're uh extraordinarily bad at the game but since i'm not that bad i'm only like relatively bad i'll still crush the base yeah yeah pretty much that's how that's how it works i think you know makes sense to me yeah why not why not only one building left here see you later gold mine three two one boom with a lightning zap taking it out get that three star and we are one star away from the perfect war guys i don't know if i'm gonna get this star on the number one base it's a pretty nice tunnel 13 base but i do have two attacks left on lb2 and lb both have maxed heroes here is the base that we need to take out looks like a blimp yeti blimp or maybe actually sneaky goblin blimp would be good on this base i could try it with the uh, e drags and then in the cc sneaky gobs and the lava hound that might be enough to take out this base here lava hound could provide some extra value could also go with the the yeti uh sneaky gob hybrid attack on this base i have two attacks so maybe i'll try a hybrid once and then uh e-drags the second time i'll be back for those attacks later guys and we're gonna be going at this base with the hybrid so hybrid on this base how do we want to go do we want to take out Eagle, single inferno, king and queen, or clan castle. Hmm. Let's go for the bottom side. I think there's more value down here. Start it off with the queen. Then we're gonna go coconut loon, super wall break. We're gonna have to go ice golem early here because there's a massive amount of DPS. Obviously, a headhunter to take out that king. 
Headhunter's great addition to the game if you ask me. Another headhunter here in a second. There we go. Queen, take out that single for me. Let's freeze it. Don't want that queen to pop ability because that queen ability is really valuable. Kind of wanted the queen to go to the core, but she's not gonna here, so I'm gonna have to break her in twice here. Okay, it's all going good so far. All to plan, totally. Only part that didn't go to plan is probably the queen taking out the eagle. Queen was supposed to go the other way, but can't always tell her what to do, you know? It doesn't always work, guys. It doesn't always work. Probably going to have to use three rage spells here on the queen. Hopefully she takes out the eagle. It'd be huge if she did. I don't know if she's going to, honestly. We'll find out in a second. She's going into that single inferno. She should wrap around, though, in a second. No, she doesn't. Okay, can she reach that single? Where's she going? Okay, she goes to the single. We'll take it, yeah? We'll, we'll take it, I guess. Now I gotta go through this way on the base, looks like. Okay, let's drop our miners in. I'm gonna drop some coconut lens, some hog riders. Queen's staying alive there, perfect. Okay, now let's drop our warden on ground. First heal spell in. Poison spell down, good timing on that. Real champion in. Gonna drop our, the only bad part about this attack is how we are, oh, I need to ward in through that eagle. How we're going on the opposite side of the, of the eagle. That's, that's why I need my queen to go this way, take out the eagle. This attack would have been so much different, but she doesn't. Anyways, town hall should go down. From the Yetis. Still have the King ability. Still have the World Champion ability. Alright. It's looking pretty good so far, honestly. Let's pop that King ability. Help set the funnel. This attack is going to come down to time or a triple. It's looking like we got it, though. It's a pretty good attack, boys. Are we going to get a perfect war here? I didn't need to pop that World Champion ability, but maybe for time I did. Let's drop some wizards here on the outside. Pop the queen ability. 15 seconds here. It's coming down close, but I think we got it, guys. Nice attack there, boys. I'm surprised we got that three star there. I really didn't think we were going to get it, but we did get the three star in the end. And, of course, that's going to make the war a perfect war. All 60 stars. Let's go, guys. Feels good, man. Wow, I'm actually really surprised we got that triple with the queen going the wrong way, but... GG to Espanard, Espanard War. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I think it's a Spanish clan. Spanish-speaking clan. Espanard War, something like that. GG to them. They cannot win. They could get a draw if they perfect war us, which is possible. Very unlikely, though, seeing their attacks here. They've used three of their Tunnel 13 attacks, and all three have been two stars. Very unlikely they get all triples, but... GG guys, that's a good war there, good win for the boys, hopefully. I'll be back probably at the end of the war, see if we got an 11 win streak. I'll be back in like 12 hours, see if we got the win like I just said. And yeah, see you then. Here's the final war results guys, we came away with the win, 60-53 to for Espanyard War. GG to them, pretty not close war I'd say, 7 stars, they didn't even attack LB3. They failed to 3 star all of our 10 all 13s. We ended up getting the perfect war, as you guys saw, most of those replays. So let's go, guys. GG. We are on a 11 war win streak now. Warlog is looking good. Looking good over here. We're looking to make that 12. And, of course, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching our first YouTube Community Clan video, war, whatever it's called. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment if you guys got more uh, good video ideas for the future. I'm looking for good ideas. So comment some if you guys got some. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Follow the Instagram, join the Discord. Peace out, guys.